Hi everyone, it's Mario Vegas and welcome back to the Tango Zone. Uh, today let's talk about Arjun. Um, it is a tier 7 premium main battle tank that can, can be obtained uh, by uh, completing an Indian uh, contract. Uh, so let's start with the stats, ammunition, armor and other things and compare this vehicle to other tier 7 premium main battle tanks and eventually make a conclusion uh, how good it is and or is it worth uh, all that effort to get uh, uh, this uh, tank as fast as possible so let's start let's start with sustained damage uh, 540 stock damage it's average uh, 650 millimeter penetration. It's below average if we compare Arjun with other tier 7 premiums. Uh, a DPM 4500. Again, below average. And uh, 24 seconds reload time. It's, uh, it looks like long reload time, but uh, we should remember that uh, Arjun has five shells in magazine. Uh, so that means uh, uh, we must uh, divide this uh, 24 seconds, this number, uh, to 5 to get a uh, comparable value. And um, it is less than 5 seconds per round, which is actually good. Regarding ammunition, Arjun has uh, 120 millimeters uh, armored piercing fin stabilized discharging sabo uh, with depleted uranium uh, penetrator, which has a 24, uh, sorry, 25 uh, uh, percent fire chance bonus to set opponent vehicles uh, engines on fire. Um, it is a nice addition uh, to firepower, but uh, it is nothing unique. There are other uh, vehicles that have these shells as well. Uh, next ammunition type uh, I would like to mention is uh, Hash. Um, it is uh, a high explosive squash head shell, 120 millimeters, uh, uh, which is useful uh, for sloped armor. Uh, for opponents like a uh, lot of Soviet tanks, uh, Soviet era tanks, and um, this ammunition type has uh, a 300 uh, percent fire chance bonus and uh, 50 percent module damage bonuses. Well, it's useful and it's uh, good. Uh, next ammunition type uh, which is available on this tank is uh, so called Pella rounds with uh, um, enhanced the lateral effect. Uh, it is great addition uh, to even more diversify uh, firepower because um, this shell type uh, um, offers up to uh, 208 damage on partial penetration and it uh, preserves more penetration uh, capabilities in long range. Say um, at uh, 400 meters, uh, Pele can uh, penetrate uh, 510 uh, uh, millimeters of armor, of standard armor, while standard AP round can penetrate only 488 millimeters. Next ammunition type are uh, anti-tank uh, guided missile with with the uh, tandem heat uh, warhead uh, with uh, 515 damage and 900 millimeter penetration. Defense uh, 3,500 hit points, uh, which is actually good and only may cover 2D, which is another uh, tier 7 premium main battle tank can do better. My cover has uh, 3,900 uh, hit points pool. Uh, but regarding Ajun's uh, protection against um, AP and heat, it again, again lags behind its premium counterparts. Uh, thing to mention uh, uh, at the defense section is uh, that the uh, tank has a soft kill APS. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the uh, armor calculator. As you can see, Arjun has a good frontal protection, but uh, this tank has no additional extra protection against, uh, uh, say, heat or missile ammunition. I mean, this tank has no cage, and its armor 
uh, stays as it is you cannot upgrade it so let's switch to the he ammunition so and we can see that uh, arjun has full protection against he shells except of course Rhea. very good protection against uh, he 125 millimeters uh, let's switch to the heat again good uh, frontal protection except uh, lower frontal plate as for majority of tanks same for this one it is penetrable uh, there is no any as i said extra protection against heat on the sides heat go through on the rear we will not talk about that missiles against anti-tank uh, guided missiles protection is very very similar as uh, against the heat ammunition penetrable sides and good protection from the front and now let's switch to uh, bmp uh, 3m uh, and let's uh, check um, armor protection against uh, auto cannon ammunition 30 millimeters auto cannon ammunition uh, let's check uh, 100 millimeters uh, he same as uh, as uh, with the bigger of course Now let's check. Uh, now let's check Arjun's uh, protection against the uh, thirty millimeters auto cannon ammunition. Against uh, AP rounds, um, there is only a uh, lower frontal plate, which is penetrable, which could be actually uh, seen as a kind of con because uh, this is the main battle tank. But it is not only one this tank, which has this weak spot uh, against the thirty millimeter. Uh, AP rounds and look at that sides are penetrable rear of course will be penetrable and from upper plate is is quite good protected uh, let's switch to HE and uh, you can see it's full protection even even rear part is protected against uh, 30 millimeter HE auto cannon ammunition so good protection against the he rounds uh returning uh, to the stats mobility if we compare Arjun to the other um tier 7 uh, premium main battle tanks then maximum speed uh, 58 uh, kilometers per hour is um, below average and acceleration is uh, uh, slowish as well a uh, bit better hull traverse uh 35.36 uh, degrees per second and uh thing to mention and not to forget is that this tank has adjustable hydraulic suspension that uh, allows uh, manually change its uh, ground clearance so it is a useful thing when you uh, play say uh in terrain where you can go uh, for a quick uh, say hold down positioning hiding your uh, lower frontal plate and uh, uh, be more protected this way uh, utility uh, 10 uh, percent uh, camo overall well which is uh, standard for tank uh, best uh, uh, camo for tanks uh, we can see in this game for main battle tanks is uh, 15 percent so and worst is a uh, five percent so a uh, ten percent would be average and standard, I would say, but very very poor uh, vision. Uh, Three hundred thirty meters. Oh my God! It's it's you are blind driving this tank. Seriously, it's you cannot rely on your vision, e even if you install telescopic lenses and stop your tank for a three seconds and receive shots uh, it's 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 too low to even compete with anyone i guess so this is a definitely con vision 
targeting. Uh, normal minus 10 degrees depression uh, will uh, allow some hold down positioning. Definitely, it's it's not bad. A lot of tanks has uh, a lot of tanks have uh, minus 10 degrees depression. It's 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 not bad. It's all right. And look at that, great accuracy, 0 0.092 degrees and good aiming time. Uh, let's remember, these are stock stats we are looking at. Uh, 1.5 seconds uh, aim time, which is good, very good. And not bad, turret traverse, uh, 38 degrees per second. Regarding uh, available upgrades for this tank, there's only one upgrade available and it is improved a conditioning that will increase crew stats by 5% and that's it. You cannot upgrade anything else on this tank. So all the rest stays as a stock stats, only you can upgrade them and improve them with retrofits, crew skills and uh, your commander skills. That's it. Now let's summarize all pros and cons. Uh, let's start with the pros. Uh, satisfactory reload time. Uh, 24 seconds uh, must be divided by five uh, because uh, uh, this tank has uh, five shells in a magazine uh, and is capable of rapid firing. So uh, less than five seconds per round is very, very good. Uh, good ammunition choice. Uh, this vehicle has uh, armored pierce, uh, piercing, uh, pin stabilized discharging sabers, uh, um, hash rounds, and pell rounds. So, enough choices for any situation in the game. Uh, great hit point pool of uh, 3500. Uh, good frontal protection. Adjustable suspension, which allows you to uh, uh, adjust your ground clearance manually. Uh, great accuracy of uh, 0 0.092 stock and good, very good aim time, a uh, 1.5 seconds aim time. And now let's take a look at the cons. So, below average damage, penetration and DPM. These all three stats are below average if we compare a June to other tier 7 premium main battle tanks. Uh, about defense, uh, the tank uh, has a vulnerable uh, side arm. A lot of tanks has, but this one as well, and this tank has no any extra protection against heat. No cage, no any other protection against heat. Uh, below average maximum speed and acceleration and poor, very, very poor vision, 330 meters. So summarizing uh, all that, uh, we must conclude that uh, Arjun can be successfully played uh, from well-protected hold down positions. Uh, engaging uh, preferably frontal opponents and using its uh, diverse uh, ammunition depending on the target type. Uh, that would be uh, its main purpose in the game, in my opinion. Um, otherwise, um, we of course, we can uh, try to incorporate this uh, main battle tank into battle groups uh, uh, and then work from there. And as you know, um, battle groups are quite powerful formations and uh, pretty much any vehicle incorporated in uh, battle groups uh, and played uh, from there uh, can be played quite successfully and battle groups can perform uh, very versatile tasks and as well uh, deal with very versatile threats. Is it worse or is it not to try to get Arjun as fast as possible? Well, you tell me. Uh, I'm really not sure about that. Uh, personally, for me, it looks and feels uh, like uh, a bit uh, slow and blind Abrams with a Stingray uh, fire rate and uh, Mechavas hit point pool. Well, I really don't know. Well, you tell me. Leave your comment in the comment section. And that would be all for today. 
Thank you for watching and following Tank Zone. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe.